Hello, welcome to Accurate Physics. In this lecture, I am reviewing some very important equations from fluid mechanics. If you are preparing for some standard exam or regular college exam, reviewing these equations from fluid mechanics chapter is very important because if you are prepared and if you know the meaning of these formulas, you can better apply in situations to solve physics problems. Let's go with first important equation that is the pressure in fluid. So the pressure in fluid at a point in a fluid is given by P and DF perpendicular divided by DA where this F perpendicular is normal force normal force and A is area of the surface area of surface so in this equation always remember the force acting on the surface should be perpendicular what is meaning of that let me illustrate right here for example if this is the water column water tube the surface area we are talking about is the this cross-sectional surface area this is the surface area right here and force this force here which is the force perpendicular is the perpendicular force perpendicular to this cross-sectional area if a force is acting other than the in, in the direction of perpendicular one for example if this force is acting in this direction, then you must find a perpendicular force. To find the perpendicular force, let us split this vector. If this is the force here, and let us say this is angle theta. So this one here is F cos theta, right? So in this situation, your equation will be something different, which is D F cos theta divided by DA. Okay, because we have to take the perpendicular force when finding the pressure in a liquid. So this is one thing. You know the unit of pressure, which is Newton per meter square. So unit SI unit is Newton divided by meter square because force is measured in Newton and the area in meter, meter square. Okay, the second equation here is the density for homogeneous material. It is denoted by rho and given by mass divided by volume. This is mass of the material at the top, mass and this one is volume. Okay, so in SI system, mass is measured in kilogram and unit for volume is meter cube. So SI unit of density is kg per meter cube. Remember, this formula for density is applicable for homogeneous material system only if material is heterogeneous we can't apply okay so let's go to the third formula which is the pressure difference uh, for the fluid of uniform density this is actually the pressure difference between two points okay if there are two points then only then we can compare the pressure that we call pressure difference so uh, pressure at point p2 suppose is uh, point 2 is p2 and at point 1 pressure is p1 so the pressure difference will be the pressure p2 at p2 and p1 and we know pressure p in general is rho g y y is the depth of the water tube then we have two pressures rho z y2 and rho z y1 so difference is this one right rho z is common here so y2 minus y1 so this is the formula for the pressure difference in the liquid and remember this thing this can be applied for uniform density okay the fluid should be uniform having uniform density if density of fluid is heterogeneous then we cannot apply so rho here is the density uniform density of the fluid uh, z is acceleration due to gravity and remember this fact 
z should be greater than 0 and what is y1 and y2 heights of the two points in the water tube okay so these are the things you know you need to know and the fourth equation we have here is pressure at depth h in a fluid of uniform density so this is also for uniform density denoted by p and given by sum of pressure at surface of fluid this is the pressure at the surface of the fluid denoted by p naught plus rho g s what is rho rho is uniform density of the fluid or whatever liquid is there and z again is acceleration due to gravity and z should be greater than zero and s here is the depth okay so this is the pressure at certain de depth it means if there is certain material this is a liquid here and if you put some material right here the pressure at the surface that is atmospheric pressure is p naught pressure experienced by this material will be p equal to p naught plus rho z h there is the extra pressure because of the depth okay so this is the third thing the fourth one now one of the very important equation in uh, uh, fluid mechanics you must know is continuity equation right this is for incompressible fluid if fluid is compressible you can apply some other equation i will write down it later so for the continuity equation of incompressible fluids uh, this condition should be valid okay a1 b1 equal to a2 b2 what is a1 and a2 and b1 and b2 here is a1 and a2 these two quantities are cross-sectional areas cross sectional area so for example let me uh, make a, a pie suppose that the this side is this end is the cross sectional area is a2 right here is a1 velocity here b1 and velocity here is p2 okay according to the continuity equation the product of the cross-sectional area at the certain point if you are taking this point the cross-sectional area is a1 and the velocity right here or speed of flow at this point is b1 then this product will be equal to the cross-sectional area at other point this point this is the cross-sectional area of this point and speed of the fluid is p2 this product okay this will always hold true for incompressible fluid that we call continuity equation so from this equation you can explain so many physical phenomena in the fluid for example what will happen if uh, in this case the figure i made here is the uh, cross-sectional area at this point looks smaller in comparison to the cross-sectional area right here okay so what will happen to the velocity at this point velocity should decrease or increase velocity should decrease right because if area is increasing area is going up velocity should go down because this product should be constant this product should be constant to have that if area is going up increasing velocity should be decreased at this point area is smaller in comparison to here at a2 so velocity will be higher at this point that's why when we decrease the cross-sectional area of our garden hoods what happens the speed of fluid the speed of water increases right so this is a important equation so let me write down 
equation that is the continuity equation for a uh, compressible fluid for the compressible fluid i can write down some different equation which is rho 1 b1 uh, before writing b1 there is a1 b1 equal to rho 2 a2 b2 right look at here what is the compressible fluid means it means density is changing it can be compressed right that's why density right here is different than density at the other point of the flow tube okay so in case of incompressible fluid that you cannot compress that you cannot squeeze densities will be equal rho 1 equal to rho 2 that's why you can cancel out and this will be your um, continuity equation right if fluid is compressible then this will be the valid equation okay after knowing this fact let us go to the another equation which is the flow rate that is volume flow rate and volume flow rate of a fluid denoted by db where b is the volume uh, uh, divided by dt is equal to a is again cross sectional area cross section sectional area and b here is speed of flow okay so uh, rate of flow of volume with respect to time will be equal to the product of cross-sectional area of flow tube multiplied by area of the flow okay and last equation here is the Bernoulli's equation which is the equation of conservation of energy in case of fluid mechanics this is very important equation look at here the first term which is p is the pressure and the second term is the potential energy term and last term here is the kinetic energy that means the pressure pressure plus potential energy plus kinetic energy should remain constant okay p plus rho z y plus half rho b square equal to constant in other words we can write down Bernoulli's equation in this form which is p1 plus rho z y1 plus half rho b1 square is equal to p2 plus rho z y2 plus half rho b2 square what is p1 pressure at certain point suppose that this is a pipe at this point pressure is p1 and uh, potential energy is this much and the kinetic energy is this much okay at other point the pressure will be something different is like right here and uh, uh, potential energy will be this much and uh, kinetic energy will be this much look at here if this thing hold true what will happen if fluid is moving with high speed what will happen to the pressure pressure will decrease right kinetic energy is increasing pressure will be decreased if kinetic energy is decreasing pressure will be decreased it is opposite to the uh, to our common sense right in general we we think that if pressure is more if pressure is increasing then the velocity should be more and uh, kinetic energy should be more right but that is opposite it is given by Bernoulli's equation okay so these are very very important equations you must review these equations before attempting some standard exams in physics or regular college exams